Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. It's always good. In Jeremiah chapter 21, we see uh, we see the prophet Jeremiah speaking to Zedekiah, the king of Judah, and what we see here is is religion, you know, religion at work. The religious people in that time they had this great big temple that was, I mean, shining like the sun. The gold, the gold was just like. You just wouldn't believe it. It was the greatest building that's ever been built. And they prided themselves in their sanctuary. They prided themselves in their in their building, in their temple. But they forsook the heart of the temple. They forsook the Lord. Because their heart went a whoring after their own thoughts and their own gods and they were worshiping the sun and they were doing all this evil in the sight of Jehovah they were oppressing the poor they were neglecting to bring forth righteous judgment and God sent the prophet Jeremiah from a young age unto the kings of Judah from Josiah on until the carrying away to Babylon and the prophet Jeremiah prophesied to these people with weeping and with tears. Just like God has sent his prophets to America, to the American church. But the American church prides themselves with their buildings and their numbers and their titles and their PhDs and their DDDs and their THDS and all their letters and numbers and, and money. And when the prophet today comes into the church today and begins to speak the word of the Lord, they are treated like Jeremiah was treated. They are pushed out. They are told to shut up. You know, don't prophesy unto me right things. Give me smooth things. See, that's what they say. Tell me I'm going to be prosperous. Tell me I'm going to have good things. But that's not how it is in all actuality. There's a vine. And the vine, okay, Jesus said, I am the true vine. He's the true vine. Israel was God's planting, but they became a degenerate vine because they ran after their own way, doing their own thing. See? The religious world, it's it's all the same. Religion is it's basically man looking to man to bring himself to what they say is God not going by what the Holy Spirit says okay, and what the revealed word of God says but going by what they say okay, whether it's Christianity or Hinduism or Buddhism or uh, Islam or Judaism doesn't matter what religion it is. It can be spiritism, like the American Indians. It can be any kind of religion. Okay. If it's not the true and living God by the Spirit of God, then it's then it's false. It's just false. And the Lord sent Jeremiah. And the Lord has sent his prophets today to the church to repent. And the church continues on in her self-willed, stubborn ways. So God has to bring judgment. See, God, he, he is so loving and kind, He judges His people. Judgment begins at the house of God. And if it first begins at us, what's going to be the end of those who know not God? And obey not the gospel. Jesus is coming, you know what, He's coming in flaming fire. See, fire purges. Fire cleanses. That's why God's sending a great fire to America, a great fire to the Western nations, okay, to purge in the whole earth, to cleanse, okay, to purify. 
You know, the Bible says in, in, in uh, Revelation that they stood, they stood upon like a sea of glass, you know. You know, the earth is made of uh, sand, you know, basically. I mean, it's, it's in various forms and rocks and, you know, marble and all these different kind of different forms of sand. But when you take sand and heat it up, you make glass out of it. Isn't that interesting, huh? That's interesting, isn't it? Because God's sending a great conflagration, a great fire. All the elements are going to burn up. Huh? Is that going to be the sea of glass? You know, this heaven and this earth that we see now, is, it's not going to be here. Is your heart right with Jesus today? you got to make sure your heart's right with the Lord. Hallelujah. <clears throat> the word which came unto Jeremiah from the Lord, when Zedekiah, King Zedekiah, sent unto him, Pashur the son of Melchiah, and Zephaniah the son of Messiah, the priest, saying, Inquire, I pray thee, of the Lord for us. So Zedekiah is asking Jeremiah to, to you know, go to the Lord and ask him what, what it is about all this. What's going on here? I mean, this army is around the city. What's going on? Okay, pray to the Lord. You know, I pray thee of the Lord for us. Inquire, I pray thee of the Lord for us. For Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, maketh war against us. If so be that the Lord will deal with us according to all his wondrous works, that he may go up from us. Then said Jeremiah unto them, Thus shall you say to Zedekiah. <coughs> so. Jeremiah is talking to these people that the king sent to Jeremiah. Okay. 21.4, Jeremiah. Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, Behold, I will turn back the weapons of war that are in your hands, wherewith ye fight against the king of Babylon, and against the Chaldeans, which besiege you without the walls, and I will assemble them into the midst of of the city and I myself this is the Lord speaking now the Lord I myself will fight against you with an outstretched arm excuse me with an outstretched hand and with a strong arm even in anger and in fury and in great wrath and I will smite the inhabitants of this city both man and beast they shall die of a great pestilence and afterwards saith the Lord I will deliver Zedekiah king of Judah and his servants and the people and such as are left in this city from the pestilence from the sword and from the famine into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon and into the hand of their enemies and into the hand of those that seek their life, and he shall smite them with the edge of the sword. He shall not spare them, neither have pity, nor have mercy. See, God is a God of mercy, but not the kings of this world. They have no mercy. They have no mercy for anyone. They don't care about people. All they care about is themselves being glorified. So they will trample down and stomp down anyone who gets in their way. And the one they're trying to stomp down is the true Bible-believing, okay, God, Jehovah-believing, walking in, okay, temple of the Lord today. That's who they're after, okay. They could care less about all the other stuff, but that's who they're after. Trying to destroy the testimony, but they're not going to succeed because our God, greater is he who is in us, than he who is in the world. Hallelujah. Verse 20, chapter 21, verse 8. Okay, 21, verse 8 of Jeremiah. Now we're in the book of Jeremiah. 